As we had said, it was a gorgeous day that maybe not quite as fall like as we had been the last couple of days. Temperatures right now in the 70s dew points are still higher in the lower mid 60s across the area. Humidity right now is at 71% easterly winds at 11. A little bit of a breeze, but also that east wind is helping to bring in a little bit more of that Gulf moisture. Average high this time of year 75. We were above it today at 78 degrees and our morning low was warmer than the average 64. We were in the 50s to start the day on the North Shore. I think by tomorrow morning, both sides of the lake will be only in the 60s. A little bit more cloud cover in the area, especially off the coast. An upper low is starting to set up, and that is helping to kind of get a lot of that rainfall going, which so far has been all offshore for the most part in the coastal area. We are going to start to see some of this rainfall head our way as we get into the day tomorrow. Not a washout and not just a constant rain, but we will see about a 40 to 50% chance for kind of off and on showers throughout much of the day tomorrow, starting in the morning and continuing through the evening. Outside at the moment, we're in the 70s on both sides of the lake. Dew points, as I mentioned, also higher than they had been in the 60s. It is is a little more humid. Here's our forecast through the night. Now this model not really going with a whole lot of rainfall in the morning hours until we get after daybreak and then we start to see more scattered showers developing through the afternoon or through the morning, afternoon and evening and then kind of coming to an end as we head into tomorrow night. But certainly a better chance of rain far better than we have seen in quite a while. You have to go back to Hurricane Zeta. This is the upper low I was talking about and the activity that it is developing is right along the coastline, which will be moving more inland during the day tomorrow. This upper low will then start to weaken as we get into Sunday and so our rain chances start to drop. We're also focusing on in the upper atmosphere what may be helping to steer Ada. It looks like an upper ridge is developing off the east coast. That is going to start pushing the storm more into the Gulf. Then as we get into the early to middle part Part of next week. Ada is in the eastern Gulf. What we start to see developing is a big upper ridge over the southwestern Gulf and an upper trough across the central U.S. These two features should act in such a way that it will keep pushing Ada away and keep the storm in the eastern Gulf. And that is exactly what the models are doing right now. Question as to how close it's able to get to the Louisiana coastline, but right now the models are saying it is not coming to southeast Louisiana. As a matter of fact, looking at satellite, can you find Ada? It's a struggle. It is in a struggling environment right now. This is where the Hurricane Center is saying the low level can, uh, center is. Not really showing up, at least on satellite, because there's a lot of cloud cover. But when you colorize the satellite, there's certainly no thunderstorms developing around the center of the storm. So we will see how the structure of this storm is able to develop overnight and into the start of the weekend. Hurricane Center is saying it will begin to strengthen to a tropical storm as it approaches Cuba. And then again, making that turn may already be over Florida by the end of the weekend and start of next week, or it may stay in kind of the uh, Straits of Florida as it meanders into the Gulf. And then here is that little turn, because as we get into the middle of next week, we are expecting the upper atmosphere to favor more of it staying in the eastern Gulf. All of the models are in a far better agreement with there's that turn and then the eventual turn more toward the north. And as I mentioned, we like to see consistency in the models from run to run, and that has certainly been the case with Ada. What structure is Ada going to be? Well, the GFS is not really initializing well because it has it as a fairly well organized system, and it's not. So the hurricane or the uh, official forecast is saying a tropical storm, whereas the GFS is indicating more of a hurricane by this point in South Florida. We will see, but notice. As it gets into the Gulf, we start to see the storm weakening. That upper atmosphere, the upper energy from the upper ridge and trough will also be introducing wind shear and dry air, which will also help to weaken the storm as it eventually kind of almost dissipates as what is left of it starts moving inland, possibly by Thursday. It'll be something to watch, but right now it is not a threat to us. Partly cloudy skies through the night. Again, a little bit milder with lows in the 60s and some stray showers tomorrow. 50% chance for showers through the day, a high of 74 degrees and with Ada to our east, we are on the dry side, but we do look to stay fairly warm as we continue through all of next week.